Oh, I'll tell you what, folks, this jungle here, she's thick as, and it's like I'm turned upside down, round and round, have no idea where I am or where I'm going, and I just don't know what's going on. You know, and I've been thinking while I've been sitting here trying to work my way out of this place is, it's a lot like what's going on today in all the world. You know, life's throwing us a bit of a curly one at the moment, and we can feel like we're lost in this jungle like this, and uncertain of where things are headed. You can't even say what's going to happen by the end of the day, let alone the end of the week or the month or even the year. Things are seemingly that were so clear are no longer so clear and they've been totally replaced by uncertainty and you can't even plan a trip away. You can't even, you know, Easter's coming up with all the people that would have gone camping and things like that. We just can't even plan it because it's so uncertain. Birthdays, celebrations, weddings, funerals, things we can't do, we took for granted, we can't do anymore at the moment. And this can make us all feel turned around and like, turned around, which way do I go? And it makes you feel at the very moment of disoriented and scared and confused and lost with everything that is closing in on us. It's times like this where I think God's word has become really powerful to me and it's times in my life when I look back at times like similar to this and nothing in comparison but it's times like this where his word has guided me and I've realized that God has never ever left us alone to work this life out by ourselves and for example he's given us passages in his word that, like Psalm 32 it says I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go and I will counsel you with my eye upon you he says in Psalm 56, he says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. When I'm afraid. So in these days of uncertainty and fear and, and strife, I can put my trust in him because he is certain. Romans chapter 8, a great one, says this. It says, for I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is a great one. Deuteronomy, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you, and he will not leave you nor forsake you. What a great scripture. What a great promise that is. Isaiah 26 says, You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. One of my favorites is Proverbs 3. He says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he'll make your path straight. Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. In Psalm 119. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Today, in all this uncertainty, you know that I know this is that God is certain and sure and very clearly shows his love for us. Even when we can't feel him, and even when we can't see him, he is there for you. And all you need to simply do is just ask him, because he'll never ever leave you, and he'll never ever let you down. I pray you have a great day today, folks, wherever you are, whether you're lost in the jungle, or maybe just lost because you're not sure what's happening. But I want you to know this, that God is with you. God bless and we're thinking of you today.